What's up guys, Gizby Jen here, we are back here on Undertale. In the last episode, we dated Papyrus and hung out with Sans and Krillbees. This episode, we're going to continue on our way through Waterfall. Now, let's see what's in my chest quickly. Um, no, I don't need any of that, so let's head down here, because I want to see what's down here. Huh? There's a camera behind a waterfall. Really? Cool. Echo flower. I swear I saw something behind that rushing water. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Let's go check it out. Ow. Rock pushed me. Hey, hey. There's an old tutu lying here on the ground. Will I take it? Yes. You got the old tutu. Alright. So, next area. Yep. We got Papyrus. H Hi, Undyne. I am here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yeah. Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, 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 no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end, I failed. Wh what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Yep, we're pissed off Undyne. She noticed it. She's got a spear. And she's looking. She's walking away. And she fades into the darkness. Hey, it's Monster Kid. Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I am so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? Haha! <laughs> Come on! Let's go watch her beat some bad guys. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Um, what's this say? When the four bridge shades align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. This seems pretty self-explanatory. Excellent. Aaron flexes in. Well... I'm gonna flex harder. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Oh shit. That'd hurt. Let's flex again. Alright. Ah, it's getting faster. I'm ready for my next flex. Let's do it. I win! I got 0 XP and 30 gold. Now, let's have a look over here. You know what? I'm gonna show you a little easter egg. Let's throw my things down here. Hopefully I don't fuck up. And number four. And in here. There's a lone quiche standing underneath this bench. Will you take it? Yes. I got the abandoned quiche. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. How much does this actually heal me? 
Kills 34. Psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. Cool. Never knew it actually healed me. We did hear about that quiche before from Papyrus, so we all presume it's Sans failed attempt at one. And hoping I am right on that one. Because I can't remember. Ring. Hello? This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequently until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a faded ribbon. Is that true? Are you wearing a faded ribbon? Um, yes. So you are wearing a faded ribbon. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. And now I'm going to change into the old tutu. <laughs> Long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Washer shuffles it up. Well, he can clean. Ow, that hurts. Let's just spare him and get this over with. What's this say? Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I would see the real stars someday. What's this one say? Whoops. Ah. Seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Look for the telescope. Hell yeah! Check wall. Got it. All these stars look nice. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside of the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There is something very unsettling about this drawing. wonder what it is. And I hope there's a safe point around here. Or I am very much going to die. Yep, there's a spear. And there's Undyne. Fucking run. Fuck. Nope. I'm gonna die. 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 Nope, 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 nope. I'm out. I'm going. I'm going. Goodbye. Undyne's chasing me. She is very scary. Yep, she's got something. Hey, it's Monster Kid. She didn't get me. Thank Christ. I don't want to fight Undyne right now. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Dude, gross. Stay away from me, please. Man, you are you unlucky? If you were standing just a 
little bit closer, a um, little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Fall over. Wash your face. Not washing is disgusting, dude. This cheese has been here so long. A magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak! Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Save! Alright. I like doing that. Hey, it's Sans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you could use it for free. How about... How's about it? Use the telescope? Sure. Oh my god, it's just red! I feel like I've been pranked. Yep, I got pranked. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Yeah, refund of nothing is nothing. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No, I am a human. What's in here? It's an ice cream guy. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a li list of 21 different flavors. How dare you? I wanted to know what they said before you painted over them. Oh, let's go down here. And this says you hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Nope. I have no wishes to make, no dreams to come true. Let's just look around. Yep. You're walking to Moldman. Nope. I'm not bothering with that shit. Spare. Spare bellet bellet shoes. Will you take it? Take it. Hell yeah! Alright. I got shoes. They look nice. Now let's continue on our path. Ring. Hello? This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, Worry not, dear human. Papyrus will never betray you. I am not a cruel person. I strive to be confident, comfort, comfort, comforting and pleasant. Papyrus, he smells like the moon. So, because of my inherent goodness, I told her you were not wearing a faded ribbon, even though you told me you were. Instead, I made something up. I told her you were wearing a dusty tutu. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. I know you would never ever wear a dusty tutu, but your safety is more important than fashion. Dang, I just wanted to be friends with everyone. Um, I'm wearing a dusty tutu, you silly skeleton. Why didn't you just tell her that? Ah, I can't stay mad at him. And I'm just gonna flee because I'm not dealing with that shit. Apparently I am. I would like to run away, please. Nope. Okay. I am going to die. No, I'm not. Okay, clean. Let's try get this this time. Aaron, flex. Okay. 
and flex again. Dodge all this shit. Flex. Goodbye. That battle took longer than they expected. Oh well. Let's just get out of here. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Yep. There's tentacles coming out of the water. What the hell is that? Hey. There. Noticed you were here. Um, onion son. Onion son, you here? Stay the hell away from me. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'd love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down air all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Yeah, can you just stay away from me now, please? And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... Uh, that's okay, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out there and live in the ocean, you hear? I hear, can you stop talking to me, please? Hey, there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall! That thing's creeping me out and I wanted away from it. Sharon hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Act. Hum. You smile. You ask to see Sharon's smile too. Sharon gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Conduct. Oh god. You hum some more monsters that are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert. Ow. Sansa selling tickets made of toilet paper. Go figure. He always wants the extra jobs. Northern room hides a great treasure. Oh, there's a piano here. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, what's this say? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. What's this say? It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. Alright. Take an umbrella? Yep. You took an umbrella. Let's go back with the umbrella and put it here. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, the, a music box begins to play. That's a nice turn. Now we go back to the piano room. Because that's the turn we have to play. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Good 
couldn't play it that quickly, but I knew it. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. Bullshit I am. I've got this annoying dog in my inventory. Drop. You put the dog on the ground. The dog absorbed the artifact. No! I wanted that artifact! How dare that dog take my artifact. And leave me with dog residue. Here's a hint. That stuff's gonna give me a bunch of money. Alright, let's continue. Please take one. Alright, taking another umbrella. I took the umbrella. Damn right I did. Dip, 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 dip. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! So, walking in the rain with a monster kid behind me. It is a very dull conversation. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> Please don't mention Undyne, I am a human. I don't want to get beaten up by her. I want to solve things peacefully. As many others would. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We all had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Like a lead captain of the war Royal Guard beating up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She, She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Teachers aren't innocent, they're evil. They make you do schoolwork and shit. You got anything else to say about Undyne, or are you just going to run ahead? You just going to stop there? Alright. Oh, never mind. You follow me again. You wanted to stay on my, under my umbrella, and you just keep running off. Return the umbrella. Put back. You return the umbrella. Yo. This ledge is way too steep. Yo. You want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Alright. Yo, you going ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Yeah, you also manage to fall over every time I see you. I can't fault you for that. You humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United... The humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. The scene, serene sound of the distant music box, it fills you with determination. Alright, so we're on a bridge and it's gotten dark around my face. And, by the looks of it, Undyne's attacking me again. Shit. There she is. This one's easy to dodge compared to the last one. Just stay out of the light blue circles. And hopefully I don't walk into them on my path. I just get away with not taking damage by standing still. Nope. I took damage. Which way am I going? I'm lost. I'm going n south. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gone. Oh wait, I follow this path. So, south from here. Okay, 
And to the right. These are coming up very quickly. And I done it. I believe I done it anyway. Yep, I did it. Now let's go back. Um, shit. Undyne's there. And she just destroyed the platform. Goodbye. Cruel world. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh. You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here. Get up. Ghost, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Hey, a bed of flowers. So... There looks like a whole bunch of junk here. The waterfall here seems... to flow from the ceiling of the cabin. Occasionally, a pile of trash will flow through. And fall into the bo bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. And I'm going to call the episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time on Undertale.